Good morning. How are you guys doing today? Good morning. Good morning? Good morning. It's actually good morning. It is. We've uh, made most of our deliveries. Just one panel left down there in the back. We are just outside of Karameas, just down the road here. Is there water flowing down here? No, that's pretty dry. Oh, there's a little makeshift staircase going down here. Yeah. I guess the waters are so low that there's no water here. This time of year there should be water. I guess the staircase is just a pallet. It's the rest area just north of uh, Karameas. We're headed home. We're headed home because that fan of ours is grinding worse and worse. And we just want to get it fixed. I thought you said it was beyond the point of grinding now. <laughs> uh, I, I heard it grinding a bit on the road. <laughs> it was the Red Bridge. It, it's been I thought it was seized up for a bit, but it seems to have loosened itself up again. It's not to be trusted. The the fan hub is not to be trusted. It's so I can hear it grinding right now. It's like this quiet gravelly sound. Mm. We actually have the boss calling us. Oh, you stopped. Yeah. <laughs> So are you stop? Are you okay? I really appreciate that though. Yeah. Yeah. He's trying to make sure we Basically, get home too. Is his truck going to make it there? He's more worried about financial. <laughs> <laughs> so please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. I don't think the hub would blow up and fall off. I think it's just going to seize up all the way and then the fan is just on. Period. Anytime I hear it grinding, I just turn manually turn the fan on. Gravel bearings. Welcome to Karameas! It is 11 degrees Celsius, it's 9.40 a.m. See that sign for those rodeos. Hmm, when is the rodeo? Oh, and here is May Long Weekend. May Long Weekend. And if you're not from Canada, Long Weekend just means holiday weekend. Like we have a three day weekend because of a holiday. Oh, is that a Canadian thing? It is totally. When we say May Long? May Long, August Long. Yeah, we, we just say May Long. We don't even say weekend, May Long. Like, yeah, it just means... It. You guys want to go through town or detour? What did they answer? What do you think they answered, Jess? Through town. Through town? Is that what they said? It's two minutes longer going through town. Is the truck going to blow up in the two minutes it takes? You never know. Oh, then maybe the detour if it's going to take. <laughs> um, no, you, they said through town, you said, so. It, the, I guess it's not a detour, but the bypass, right where the van just turned off there, to the left, is the bypass around Karameas. So, I have to figure out, yeah, we're going to have to go shoot our, our yeah, we, we, got our, we got our videos figured out. Don't worry, videos will keep coming to you guys like normal, even if I'm broken down. We've planned this out ahead of time. 
what I haven't planned out is all these extra meals I now have to... At home? Yeah. Oh, we were home way early, right? So... Yeah, we're definitely... <laughs> well... Just a day early. And the reason why I don't just say make the truck food is because the truck food is the truck food. Walk across, or you guys want to hang out? Let me run you over, or you could just walk to the crosswalk, and then I would stop for you. Yeah, we could just make the truck food at home, but just spend so much time prepping all the truck food. Yeah. Let's save that truck food for next week. So you have to spend less time prepping next time. past the stop line so just gotta go wide oh, we got construction up here well, it seems to be popping up everywhere those orange weeds are everywhere those orange blooms. Which way is the construction? Straight ahead or Highway 3? Highway 3 continues off to the right. Say this way. I wonder what the weather is supposed to be like this weekend. Well, the next few days. If it looks like this. Maybe going out. Now, oh, lots of work being done here. fruit stand and that's where the uh, bypass comes back in. The route we went is definitely more scenic. whatever herbicide or that dude was spraying got sprayed onto our windshield. Mr. RCMP. Got a 
fully loaded Super B in front of us, so... We'll be slow going, but that's alright. We are in no rush. to Olala. Olala. I don't know why I always have to say Olala. Olala. I think it comes from uh, living here. You know, like I can make fun of it. Sorry when bikes struggle climbing a hill and they kind of all of a sudden try to catch their balance by swerving towards the road and say, uh. Call them a sniper's worst nightmare. Okay. Because they leave all over the place. Yeah. down in the meadow. Cows are eating fresh grass. longer weekend. The weather's going to be nice. It'll be nice yeah. to get out. It's going to be anything like this because it's 12 degrees already. In fact, maybe after drop off the truck, maybe just go get the motorcycle right away. I'll take a look at the weather on the side. I don't know. Cell service is kind of iffy on and off here for a bit. Yeah. I don't have any of the locks or anything ready for that, so no, maybe not. No. But maybe tomorrow. Or later on today. We'll see. Well, I said this Super B was going to be slow, but he just took a little bit of time to get up to speed, but once he's up to speed, he's gone. Horsepower than I do. Yeah, a 
lonely this morning I actually woke us up. Yeah, so yeah, unloading in Princeton. I'm like, oh this this place doesn't open till 8 a.m. so we can sleep in. So I was awake already. Uh, I woke up at 7.15, so I was just there on my phone relaxing in bed. And all of a sudden the forklift drives by and I'm like, what? And that was around 7, almost 7.30 into it. Oh, maybe they're on summer hours because here's the forklift on Lotus. Got up, got dressed, jumped out with my pre-trip while he started unloading me. Beside us last night. He helped me roll up my straps. So I'm unstrapping last night. Well, you debated doing that this morning, so good thing you did it last yeah. night. Unless you do a very hard hike around the outside. I've done that once. 
Ah, it's bushwhacking. <coughs> bushwhacking all the way with lots of signs of bears. I've seen people camping on the other side. There's there's been tents set up on the other side, so somebody took a took a boat across and set up all their tenting supplies and get a nice place to camp on the other side of the lake. <coughs> Pit toilets on this end as well, but the other end has a better rest area. At least parts of the, the golf course, but I think a desert golf course is fine if there's a bunch of dry grass. Just welcome to the Okanagan Valley. our dash camera turn off? I didn't hear any beep beep beep. Me either. Has it been recording at all? I have no clue. Maybe it didn't turn on when you clicked it all on. Maybe, maybe our dash cam hasn't been recording at all. I, I bet you it never came on. Love and hate, but at the same time, later. Yeah. Well, luckily the weather's good, and the other the camera cam. As long as bugs didn't hit the mirror cam, we'll be fine. As long as bugs didn't hit it, we're 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 okay.
into the valley. Are you trying to sing us a song? Oh, is it Rivendale? We're going down into Rivendale? The last homely house? Does it come with a song? I think so, yeah. Mm. Okay. pickup because we drive them faster. We won't be driving them fast with with the, with the big rig. So no giggles for you. Tarping that one panel is difficult because there's no place for bungees to attach. It's a lumber tarp. I can't bungee that tarp down. So there's a whole bunch of extra straps thrown over that tarp and it's basically being held down just by straps. Four bungees, one in each corner, keeping the uh, end flaps tucked in, but that's it. There's not much else you can do when it's just a small little thing. And I didn't even unfold the tarp all the way. It's only, I'm only using two thirds of the tarp. I only unfolded one flap. I think they'll fix the truck before the weekend, but so we can leave on the weekend, but we'll see. And it sounds like he'll let us know. Yeah, yeah, as soon as it's fixed. I love all the yellow flowers. So beautiful. the week with me talking about my yellow flowers. Yes, we did. And this isn't really ending the week, though, because we got one more video tomorrow. I'll just make sure for us, that. For us, we're ending the week. But. I'll just say, yeah. It makes sense in my mind. Welcome home. I got a big sign here for the scale. No access to the scale. Do not report to scale. Because we used to have to. The intersection was getting too dangerous. Oh, it is open. It is open. kind of obsolete to be asked me. It's really only for an northbound direction. <laughs> I 
Oh, well, they're doing inspections too. If they saw if they saw anything illegal on the load or anything that's like hey that's unsafe, they would most likely chase me down, pull me over. But, yeah, I can't believe that scale is just outdated for its location. Yeah. Either revamp the whole thing and make a median scale, or just get rid of it. There's flashies up ahead. Yellow flashies. working on this construction site here again it looked like it was almost done because they had to redo the whole cliff face going down to the road on the bottom the, ma the mountain wanted to go down oh yeah they're putting in no posts okay putting in no posts preventing us from driving too close to the edge yeah a lot farther in yeah it's so a smaller smaller pull out now It's a little gas powered bicycle. Is that allowed on the KBR? What's that? Is that allowed on the KBR? Sure. And why why not be on the KBR? I don't know. Maybe they live up here. Seems like it would be much safer being down there. like getting up early tomorrow or the day after you could go to Tootsie's for breakfast now you have me interested you gotta be willing to get up early
to go there for brunch. So you don't have to get up early, really. Yep, you're right. I see how you're going to manipulate that <laughs> time. Jess is like, I want to go, but I don't want to go early. If you go too early, then you have the morning people. I'm not a morning person. I'll get up early in the morning and do a live stream for the, for the Three J's channel because I'm not taking it. I'm not losing the advantage of a long weekend to get a bunch of watch, watch time. We're pushing. We're pushing hard for watch time on that channel. And thanks to you guys, some of you guys heading over there to the other channel just to give us some watch time. Really appreciate that. That number's been going up. It's hard to make that number grow because it's a moving target. Whatever watch time we got a year ago gets taken down and the new watch time we had this year gets added. for the first time ever uh, above 1,800 hours of watch time. So, nice. Uh, what are we, two weeks ago we started asking for a little extra watch time. It's gone up almost 200 hours. Yeah, it's gone up quite a bit. So, thank you. We have to hit 3,000, but for the first time ever we're at 1,800 I would just go straight on Main Street, or I guess it's Skaha, and then turns into Main Street. Except then I'd have to make that hard uh, right-hand turn. There's construction there, so. Yeah. If they have it closed down, then you're screwed. We're ending this video where the bonus video started. Bonus video started. Oh no no. Two weeks ago bonus video started. Right. Two weeks ago the bonus video. That, this that's that's where we're ending the video. park here. If not, then I have to go back out of town. And then you have to chain everything up, lock everything up. Yep. <laughs> Things find legs if you park them out of town. They walk away. Magic. snow tire chains walk away the tarps walk away put a pin lock on the trailer here too. Anytime I have a load on the back I put a pin lock on it. 
Kenworth right here on the right hand side. That's where we're going. Detour to drop the trailer and then come back here. Yes. Now, this town is very picky. You cannot park. You cannot park a trailer anywhere without a truck attached to it. Anywhere in town. You don't have to thank me. You have the right of way. You, you just you just go. Well, you can only park in their shell area. With with a truck attached. Yeah. But you cannot leave a trailer anywhere without getting a ticket. I have gotten those tickets. Even though it's across the shop and very obvious. Literally at the shop. drop it at a card lock, but I go and talk to the gentleman that runs the card lock there and just let him know I'm leaving the trailer there. So I always go and have a conversation with him because it is private property and I, 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 like, I like him to know who the trailer belongs to and who he can contact if, if, if he needs a trailer moved. See what the yard looks like. If we are the first trailer there, or if somebody's parked like an idiot. Yep, I see them. Parked over here somewhere. I can't remember where. Or can't remember, but she's trying to at least get somewhere without getting ran over now on this side. It's been very interesting to see this lot change over the years. Yeah, the old modular place on the on the left on the other side of the creek. It's all going to be turned into housing. It looks like there's trucks in there and moving gravel right now. It's going to be housing with the bottom in retail office. So we have to tear, tear all the old buildings down first. I love the idea of retail on the first floor, housing above. Yeah, there would be one building in the end that's more dental office, but it's the last building being built. This is like seven different stages. Over the 
many years being built. There is a truck in there. Parked annoyingly. Is there enough room to park beside him on this side? Yeah, technically. Uh, it'd be hard to get in there. We'll park beside him. I wish he had parked further over this way, but maybe there was a truck there. I'm <laughs> like, look at the tracks. A bit narrow. I don't think there was a truck there. I mean, there's a truck. I mean, so there could be a pickup. Oh, yeah, it could have been a pickup there. Yeah, I see the tracks there. All right. We'll just park beside him. Yeah, all right, pup. How are you doing back there? Climbing up the rocks nicely, yeah. I'm basically looking outside through through the sleeper window. Closer, but not too close. It might take a couple of tries to get to where I want it to be. So I don't want to overcook it. So if you overcook it, that's how you start hitting stuff. happy with. Now, remember how I came around that corner? I'm going to park the trailer as far forward as I can so the next dude can make it around that corner. That's it guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. We are out of here. See you guys tomorrow with an extra extra video. You guys rock. Adios. Thank <laughs> you.